Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so this is a topic which is really something which is kind of been ripping at my heart quite a lot lately. Um, very, very tragically, in the past number of weeks, my grandmother took a turn for the worst, and I very heartbreakingly lost my grandmother who was my my be one of my best friends one of my best friends so since then life has been very very difficult and still is on a daily basis um and very often when we're going through anything like whether it be grief whether it be a feeling of loss or anything in life we often put a smile on our face and bury ourselves into our work, or we end up getting stressed about one thing or another, which we're trying to sort of use as a coping mechanism. Now, that's kind of happened with me lately, and it wasn't until very, very recently where a member of my family, in fact, actually my twin brother, sprung it on me that we should, we should, we should do something on this particular day, we should do something, and very spontaneously, um, we had a really, really cool, really quite fun evening, we had laughs, and I haven't laughed for a, for a long time, and um, I certainly haven't been able to sort of almost, as in a sense, breathe. I think losing my nan has really turned my life completely upside down. Um, what it has really taught me is that the most precious things are right in front of us. Now, I've known this with my grandmother because I really do like to think that I have cherished every single moment of her life and I only wish she was here today because I think if the Lord would have allowed me, as I said many times, I would have held her for a lifetime. And I like to think that I value and I cherish my parents on a daily basis as well. But of course, grandparents, of course, parents, I'll be very honest, I've probably pushed friends away at times through my desires of wanting to push on with my career or when they've asked me to do things, or when I've perhaps could have gone, but I've chosen to sort of do something which would help me at work, or perhaps with another family member, or one thing or another. I've not, I've not necessarily always cherished, in terms of friends and friendship, what is right in front of me. Um, which, in a way, that really does make me feel sad. And that's what I've learned from losing my grandmother, that she wasn't just my grandmother, she was a true, true friend, which really, really hurts. And it wasn't until that when my brother sprung this on me, again, it sort of really concreted the fact that actually the most precious things are right in front of us. If I could have told my, my school year self when I was back at school, what's the one thing you would have changed? It would be, yes, continue to concentrate just as much on studying and, and the qualifications and, and the learning, but just slow down and just enjoy being with your mates around you. That's what it's really taught me. And again, one of the most precious things, and it was right in front of me. So that's something which has really got me thinking lately. And it's and sometimes it's difficult to bear, it really is. So when I took when I, when I took just a moment out of my busy life at the moment, and of course this, this horrendous, horrible grief, which to be quite honest with you, the only person I talk to about this is my mum. She sees me in the darkest of moments. She sees me when my mind is almost falling to pieces with the loss of my nan, the loss of this incredibly, truly special person in my life. So for my brother, I have three brothers, and very often I'm very, very close. In fact, I'm very, very close with them all, and they're three very different characters. But I don't, I don't, I don't share everything, of course. And um, on this one particular day, with my, where my my twin brother said, "Come on," kind of thing, we well, let's go and do something, sort of uh, spontaneous. And it was fantastic. And do you know what I mean? I really thought to myself, "Wow, the most important things are literally right in front of us." So. When people wait for New Year's resolutions and things, we can make changes and revolution, uh, revolutions, hopefully not revolutions, <laughs> resolutions, um, anytime throughout our life, whether it be the end of a week, the start of a week, whether it be the start of a month or the start of a year, it really doesn't matter. But what I do think is that 
no matter how busy life is, or no matter how stressed and bogged down you are with perhaps trying to get this promotion, or trying to sort of pick a new job, or organising something, or all of those sort of quite stressful things, or even just family life, which can, there's always something going on in a busy family, isn't there? We're a big family, and there's always something going on, and, and just that can really get you down. So I think just slowing things down and actually thinking, actually, just even saying it in your own head, that sometimes the most precious things in life are right in front of us. And we may say things sometimes which we don't mean, and believe you me, being a twin, if he ever watches this back, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Only recently we've had quite a heated argument about things, but you know what, that's when you care so much about things, or somebody is so close to you, they know they know what you're thinking, they know how you're feeling. So those those words, those things we say, actually are just forgotten and, and just grow at the top of your head quite quickly. And to be quite honest with you, again, coming back to that statement, the most precious things, that, that amazing ability to be able to say something and then in seconds, it's forgiven, it's forgotten. Or you're doing something, they need help, whether it be a friend, whether it be a relative, a, a close-knit family member, that sort of having that right in front of you is no amount of money can can sort of you can put on that not at all you can't so I've been thinking about that for a little while and I think well I often I often turn to my channel to to vent to talk about things and this is certainly something which has been playing on my mind and it's certainly something I want to get out there and if you've got an experience of this and you've actually thought to yourself Do you know what the same things happened with me or this has happened lately I can absolutely relate to you. And you know what? I've always been able to do this and I've always done this, but predominantly my nan, predominantly my mum and my dad. And yeah, perhaps sometimes I should have opened my eyes just that bit more, that bit more wider in seeing the friends I had around or the people who actually try to sort of step in and say, actually, Bradley, hypothetically, there's a hand here waiting to help you if you want to take it. And sadly, I think sometimes I've overlooked that. Not through me being mean or not through me being selfish or arrogant or anything like that at all. Because I will help absolutely anybody and I'm there for anybody. I do not hate anybody on this planet at all. But sometimes just opening our eyes that little bit more in quite literally the amount of times I've said it in this clip. But the most precious things are right in front of us. Whether that be a friend you can or a mate you can turn to throughout any time of the day. And for me, recently, it's that I do have three amazing brothers, literally who I can just pick up the phone to at any time of the day. And I do have amazing family members which I can turn to. But sometimes it just, it takes a certain something in life, doesn't it, to sort of actually wake you up and think, wow, somebody's ripped one of the main pillars out of my life. What now? I was actually sat in this very position last night and thinking to myself, I've spent so many years looking after and spending time with my nan and enjoying that, that incredible bond. Now that's gone, I have those wonderful memories and I have prayer and I have... Then I have this huge void, this huge space in my time, in my life. And it's just actually there are people right in front of me willing to share that, willing to help and willing to talk. And isn't that incredible? And isn't that so precious? Which it is. And of course, for me, always in my life is my parents and and my nan. I am not there yet in my life. I haven't met the incredible lady. I haven't got the amazing wife yet. I, I truly do hope, hope so one day, one day pretty soon, so I can start a family of my own. And then, of course, that will, of course, join that shelf of those precious figures. But, but yeah, there are there are others. And they're just as precious. And sometimes we need to open our eyes wider to see this. I hope you can kind of relate to that. And I hope you can kind of... I, I, kind of... Click to what I'm trying to say. I think... I think I think I have got this across. If I haven't, please let me know down below in the comments. If you're going through something similar as well, let me know. I love receiving comments. And I receive so many amazing comments. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. But, um... Yeah, so I'm going to leave you with that notion that open your eyes, sometimes the most important and precious things in this life 
are right in front of you, whether it be a family member, whether it be a friend, whether it be a colleague at work, whether it be somebody who's offering you that hypothetical hand in life to say, I'm here if you need it, or that person behind you saying, I'm here to catch you if you fall. If that happens, and you've got that, which so many people haven't got that, it's incredibly precious, and it's something to be cherished, and quite often to be celebrated. So with that note, I am really pleased that I've got this on my channel now, and I'm really, really pleased that I've shared this with you, these thoughts going around in my head. Thank you very much for sharing this clip with me. It means the world. And as ever, until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.